we're starting live now. There you go. You may have to come closer. The further you go, you won't get us. So you might have to zoom or zoom out. I don't know. So we're with um, Andrea. Adria. Adria. Uh, from the Suffolk Pride and I want to talk to Adria about suicide prevention okay you may not hear that very well so I've approached you for suicide prevention because the reason why I've come to you is because there's many people that have asked for secret because they find it difficult to express what's going on so um, how do you feel about suicide prevention well, obviously it's critical. There are some young people out there, well, not just young people, but certainly young people who are really struggling and certainly struggling with their sexuality, struggling with coming out, struggling with their identity. And so obviously everything and anything that we can do to try and raise awareness, provide support, shout about these issues is obviously really important. And so Suffolk Pride is an opportunity for people to come together who are in the LGBTQ uh, plus community and to basically, it's ourselves, it's our friends, it's our allies, it's our families, and it's basically celebrating who we are, our identity, you know, what we can achieve in the world. And I think that's something that really, uh, it's a really important um, event to have and just bring people together, it's a celebration, but obviously there is a really difficult and tough side because people are really dealing with some really, really problematic issues and somehow we need to try and find the language we need to be able to speak, we need to be able to talk about what our issues are and, and provide safe spaces for people. It is absolutely essential because mental health in the LGBTQ plus community is a real issue very high right it's it's really sure. in, in, since you started doing Suffolk Pride how many deaths have you had I don't know I don't I don't have a numbers I count. don't know I, I mean just a, it's something I'm involved with is the um, the Trans Remembrance Day and that's a day in November actually and we read out the names of all of the trans people that have been who have taken their own lives or been killed because they are trans and it is hundreds of